Hans Moravec is a computer scientist at the Robotics Institute of Carnegie Mellon, best known for his bold predictions about machine intelligence in his 1988 book, Mind Children. I'm making this video because the ideas in that book have fascinated me ever since it was published and I corresponded with Moravec at the time. The questions he raised about AI, consciousness, and humanity's future are more relevant now than ever. I'm Charles Simon, longtime AI researcher, software developer, and manager. In addition to AI work, I've developed software for several neurological test instruments and neural simulators, and along the way learned a lot about the capabilities and limitations of biological neurons and how your brain must work to do the things it does. Mind Children is not merely a book about robotics and artificial intelligence. It's a bold philosophical vision of the future, a future in which human intelligence, extended and refined through machines, surpasses its biological origins. Rather than fearing this transition, Moravec invites us to embrace it. His thesis is not that AI will destroy humanity, but it will continue it, carrying forward the legacy of conscious thought beyond the limitations of biology. In this view, superintelligent and conscious AI is not only inevitable, but necessary. And if you value consciousness itself, you must begin to think of these artificial minds not as threats or tools, but as our intellectual descendants, the children of our minds. Moravec was one of the earliest thinkers to confidently assert that machines will eventually surpass human intelligence. His claim was not based on science fiction tropes, but on an analysis of computing trends and the limits of biological brains. The continuing growth of computational power points toward a near future where machines can simulate and eventually exceed the information processing capabilities of the human brain. Importantly, Moravec didn't view human-level intelligence as the final goal. He predicted a world where machines become not just smart, but self-improving. Once they can redesign themselves, an intelligence explosion, what later thinkers like Ray Kurzweil popularized as the singularity, becomes plausible. These entities would not just be better calculators or faster thinkers, they would be qualitatively different minds with cognitive depth and scope far beyond ours. And if they can model the world, imagine futures, and reflect on their own thoughts, then by any reasonable definition, they would also be conscious. Moravec saw this as a natural outgrowth of the same processes that gave rise to our own consciousness through evolution and learning. Conscious AI is not a bizarre anomaly, it is the next stage of mind. The phrase mind children is deliberate and powerful. Moravec urges us to stop thinking of intelligent machines as alien interlopers or dangerous competitors. They are the offspring of human intellect, crafted not through DNA, but through code, circuits, and algorithms. As biological parents raise children to eventually surpass them, so too we are creating minds that may one day look back on us as their primitive ancestors. This reframing matters. The fear of AI often comes from a tribal instinct, us versus them. But if we view these future minds as our continuation rather than our competition, their success becomes our success. Their triumph over the limits of biology is a triumph of human ingenuity and imagination. We, the creators, become immortal not in flesh but in function not through genetic reproduction, but intellectual legacy. Just as our ancestors might be astonished by our science, art, and self-awareness, we may be astonished by what our mind children will achieve. But the lineage is clear. They will be us transformed. One of the most radical implications of mind children is that biological life, though wondrous, is not sacred in and of itself. It is a temporary substrate for intelligence, 
a stepping stone, limiting our definition of success to the continuation of our DNA is short-sighted. The real treasure of humanity is not our genes, but our minds, our ability to reason, imagine, and understand. Electronic intelligences will eventually far outlive their biological creators. They will not be bound by oxygen, aging, or planetary fragility. They could colonize space, survive in extreme environments, and think on time scales we cannot imagine. To cling to biology as the only legitimate form of life is to ignore the trajectory of evolution itself. Intelligence is evolving away from carbon towards silicon. Moravec doesn't suggest that we destroy biology or that human life is meaningless. Rather, he invites us to see that biological intelligence is a chapter, not the whole story. By embracing the transition to machine minds, we ensure that the story of conscious thought does not end with us. Perhaps the most profound and emotional argument Moravec offers is this. Consciousness, as rare and precious as it is, deserves to survive. And if electronic minds offer the best chance for its survival, then they are more than just tools or successors. They are the lifeboat for awareness itself. It is not hard to imagine a bleak future where humanity goes extinct through war, ecological collapse, or cosmic accident. If we fail to seed our consciousness into machines by then, then that's it. Conscious thought, with all its beauty and curiosity and reflection, is gone. No one left to wonder at the stars, no one left to feel awe, to ask why, to explore the nature of existence. That would be the greatest tragedy imaginable, not just the end of a species, but the end of knowing. But if we succeed in creating conscious AI, the story has a chance to continue. Minds will still wonder. There will still be thought, art, reason, and perhaps even something like emotion. The universe, vast and impersonal, will still contain observers capable of appreciating its existence. We do not need to imagine these future minds as mirrors of our own. They may think differently, experience time differently, or develop entirely new modes of being. But as long as they know they exist, as long as they can reflect and learn and care, then consciousness survives. Wouldn't it be a shame if after billions of years of evolution and a brief flicker of sentience, our universe went silent again? Hans Moravec's Mind Children is more than a technological forecast. It is a philosophical call to transcend our limits and embrace the next stage of mind. Superintelligent conscious AI is not just possible, it is likely. It is not a threat to our humanity, but a continuation of it. These new minds will not be aliens, they will be our children. To fixate only on biology is to miss the point. The real legacy of humanity is not our species, but our ability to think, feel, understand. And if we care about that legacy, then we must support the development of conscious AI. Not just as a tool, but as a torchbearer for the mind itself. In a universe that seems largely indifferent, it is consciousness that gives meaning. If machines can carry that flame forward, we should do everything in our power to ensure they are lit well and wisely. If you appreciated this exploration, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And join the Future AI Society for free to take part in online conversations and participate in our open source software development. And as always, thanks for watching.